Well, hello everyone, and welcome to the next part of our Imperial Destroyer campaign in Empire Total War as Russia. In the last part, we destroyed some Hetmanate rebels, and we kicked out some Swedish raiding party that tried to uh, incur on our territory. So we knocked them out, killed them all, and now we're going to be attacking St. Petersburg so that we can capture Ingria. We're going to go straight for an attack here and knock them out, because this territory has been annoying me. It's 1705, and I think it's about time we take it from them. All right, let's go ahead and jump in. With Veniamin Serebryanikov, apparently, is our commander against Ovek, the Ikea man. Yes. Let's attack. I will save first, of course. There we go. Let's go to the battle. Oh, looks like we're going to have a bit of a foggy day. Interesting. Yes, now we have our two guns here. Yes, this is going to be nice. However, the terrain doesn't favor us too much. Unfortunately, sucky. So I'd say we'll bring our gun here. And our other one, I guess, really, here. We've also got demi cannons, whatever worth they are. Not really too much. We can actually start. Eh. I'd say disbanding them. Let's bring them over here. I don't know, maybe we can send some artillery into his flank or something. Let's put some cavalry over here on the right. And then we've got two regiment of horse that we can put on the left. There we go. And we've got a ton of line infantry. Which I think is terrific. Let's just make a nice extended line. And we'll bring three of them over here. The rest of you... Who are you? Oh, we have another one. Fantastic. Let's put him here on the flank of that gun. Yes, that'll do quite nicely. Alright, I think we should be good to go. Let's get things moving. Oh, God. Move up the guns. It's going to be crucial having canister to put into them. Oh, no. It's hard to tell really what a uh, oh, decent spot is. I mean, it's nothing really terrific, this terrain. Not like our last battle. That was good. That was good ground when we were taking out the Hetmanate rebel rebels. He's really moving for that ground. So I think we'll run our troops so that we can get this ground. Once we get our cannon up there, that'll really solidify our position. And we can certainly move up this flank. We can take him in the in the rear, actually, which is quite good. And if we position our artillery over here, it might be beneficial. Another demi cannons. They don't usually too, do too much of anything, really. Come on, guys, let's run. As soon as we get up here. Throw yourselves into canister shot. It's absolutely necessary. Yeah, you people are coming up quick. I'm not surprised. Right? Canister shot. Oof. 
our unit is confident. <laughs> Hopefully, we can actually make use of that. Alright, I think we're knocking him back. He's kind of running around now, unsure where to go. No, we're definitely going to want to take that hill. Let's push up. Push up. Ah, oh, God, you can't. It's some stupid ground. Maybe even move the artillery up more. Try to move them up. Three people doing pretty good. Unfortunate, the uh, artillery isn't going to be too much help soon. Ugh. They've got us in the flank here. Quickly. Get the cavalry down into that unit. Shit. Oh, they're just in canister range. So let's pull this back. This ground is awful. It's awful. Good, we've dealt with that. Let's quickly move this up. Oof. However, that's not gonna work too well. Yeah. That sucks. We need to get this flank engaged. Preferably up behind him. As soon as we get behind him, I say it's pretty much game over for him. It's just a fact of maneuvering quickly enough to get there. Oh, shit. Get rid of those. Thank you. Good. We don't need to worry about chasing people down because we've directly attacked the city. But we put our cannon over there. They've squared up their infantry there. Let's go after that other one then. Nice. Maybe that's not benefiting him much. What are you doing? That is a terrible position for you to do. He's got us in the rear. Unfortunate. How about we move up a bit? Let's send them against here. Boy. <laughs> this bypasses general. Nice. Get into his line there. Quick stuff, quick stuff. Get you people more into melee. All right, pull the cavalry out. Send them this way. Get you into them. Yeah, his his line here are not having it. So now we can swivel around these units to counter him coming in our rear. Nice. Real saucy stuff. Continue moving up. Yes. I think. No, our guns aren't firing. They're pretty useless at the moment there. Nice. Let's 
put them in position. Pretty well mass route for him. Let's get our troops behind that wall there so they can fire at them if they're coming back. Brilliant stuff. Here, I think we should get these in the melee. Very good, we've got him broken there. Send our cavalry that way. And we'll turn you to face his general. We can get some shots on him. There we go. How about we limber up that cannon? And then we can move these troops. There we go. Square up, his general's coming at us. And move these guys around. Boy. Charge them in the rear. As you can tell, they're, they're really bloody battles. And these guys are still going. Wow. They're all shattered. Some are broken, but they're mostly shattered. It's running off. Oof. How about no? Don't fire. You're just killing your own square. That's no fun for them. These guys would have a better chance of shooting his general. I guess they broke our square. Form it again. You guys try breaking through. There you go. So that way now, we can do them from the rear. This general shouldn't be alive for too much longer, I'd hope. Boy. Vicious. Vicious battle. Oh god, stop. All you people are just shooting yourselves now. Guess you can aim at them. You people are ready. You can aim at them as well. Very, very nice. Line up these people in a somewhat sensible manner. And then we've taken that. There we go. We got them now. Jeez. We're not taking too many casualties off our square. Okay, stop firing. Gee. And uh, a heroic victory. We took St. Petersburg at a very much costly rate. Gee, we lost 694. Capital city recaptured. Oh, what? Our capital moved to St. Petersburg. Oh, that's interesting. Now, we just have to fend off whatever Swedes remain. I think we've taken their biggest issue here. Let's rebuild the government residence and the barracks. Ooh, well, this is going to be expensive to rebuild. The people love us, though. They're very happy. So we'll try rebuilding some of it. But those aren't a big threat. I wonder if we could actually peace with Sweden. And how about I give you some improved animal husbandry? No? Well, they can't say we try. We didn't try. We certainly did. Britain. Apparently we can trade again. 
Let's try. Satisfactory. Okay. How about the Moogles? Can we trade as well? If I give you some stuff? Yes. Very good. And Tarki? I don't think they will trade with us. Oh, they will. Very nice. Okay, that's a, a good chunk of extra money. Very good. I think that's gone along pretty well. Yes, because we got another trading port. Oh, brilliant. That is good. That is very good. However, I do believe we're going to need to put troops in the port so that Sweden didn't come and raid them. Other than that, let's end the turn. And here we have Sweden's dirty little trick. It's just sending random little stuff. I'm pretty sure this place is building them. I'm not 100% sure, but it definitely seems like it would be. Oh, well, it uses pretty much all our money to replenish that army. We're getting our roads built up. Oh, yay. Technology. The Iroquois were destroyed. What by? The three fires, the French and the British. Everybody just knocked them out. Wow, okay. That's a very interesting development in the North American front. What's that? These little... Bloody raiding armies. Cannot stand it. Right. Let's... Let's try and put... them at the... R at the... river crossing thing. That should try and block them from coming through. Poland, it would be nice if you could, uh... come over to St. Petersburg. He's also got Riga here, too, so... He could send stuff from both sides, which is not nice to think about. There's our militia. They are not happy still. I guess we could leave... How many homes? Like four units or something. Do the militia actually have... No, they don't really have a garrison policing bonus, either. Hmm. I'm gonna have to keep leaving more. Leave a pikeman. Okay, we're nearly there. And a general? That actually did help. Do else. Line infantry. Yes. Oh boy. This is really uh, eating up my forces. Okay, that's got them a bit happier. Only thing is, I don't think we have enough troops now to go after him. Well, we can always try. We can siege it anyway. Ah, he was detected. We can try and siege it. Make them take longer. I mean, we can always certainly recruit more line infantry to send down to that army. So I think we will try to do that now. Okay, let's end the turn and see what happens. And it looks like we can intercept these dragoons, or this regiment of horse. Let's do it. Here it is. 
our little engagement. I don't know what he's gonna do. Maybe he's gonna come try and attack us? No, I think he's actually glitching. Well, he's moving a bit. He's not really moving to attack, though. Let's try to have a better skirmish than in our, our last little engagement with Swedish raiders. We kind of lost a lot of stuff. Okay. He's coming more to us now. And we'll run into position and be ready. It'd be nice when we have ring bayonet. Soon, very soon. Hold our fire. Fast forward still. There we go. Fire. And square. I mean, we didn't hit anything with it, but... The effort was there. Oh, once again. I see why they say the square is pointless in Empire. But this is just stupidity. We, we're down to 113. Now let's get our general into him. I think that's done more damage for us than good. He's only taken, what, 10 losses? I actually got a good amount of them. It doesn't help that we don't have... Ring Bayonet. Our generals actually lost a few. I wonder if they were shot from our own people. Get in it. Jeez. They just keep going. Boy. 32. Why is this taking so long? There we go. As, yes. Continue. Kill him. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're not going to make it to take out those last ones. Oh, maybe we will. Yeah. I think we got through. There we go. Ah. Yeah, we lost far, far too much for that battle. These vineyards again. I don't even know what's going on with that. Let us send our next ship again down to South America. And then we'll recruit another one. Because I do indeed like my trading boats. Ah, a fleet has arrived. It's hilarious. The AI is not really taking advantage of all these trade nodes. Oh, wonderful. He got a trait. Uncle to his men, something. Well, now we have to replenish that even more than we did before. Looks like he's pulling these troops back. Try and sabotage. Okay, his force there isn't too bad. What can we... Cannon foundry. I'm gonna say yes because it's St. Petersburg. Okay. We've still got line infantry coming out down here. How about some more? Let's try to assassinate. It worked. Very good. 
and then we will siege you. Just garrison regiment. Okay, they're better anyway. That's better than the garrison guards. That that was just awful. But we had not siege Moldavia because that's just the easiest thing for us right now. What else have we got? We can't really do anything else this turn. So let's Let's go ahead and end it. Britain wants an alliance. Yeah, sure. And it looks like the Moldavians are coming out to attack Boris. They outnumber us. They do. But we will have to try and use our abilities of our troops and our canister shot to hopefully destroy Iran. However, that is going to be in the next part as we've pretty well reached near the end of the episode here. Once again, if you would like to, please subscribe. It definitely helps grow the channel and get the name out there. Also, leave a like and a comment. Perhaps comment a regiment or ship name you would like to see us use in the campaign. Also, if it is of interest to you, in the description, there is a GoFundMe donation link if you wish to help support the channel, because we are not monetized. If you would like to give any amount you're comfortable with, that would be absolutely appreciated as well. Helps grow content creation. And a vote in the, the YouTube video description here about what mod you would like us to feature next in our next Let's Play for Empire Total War. You can also go to the community tab on our channel to vote what faction you would like to see in it. Thank you very much for watching. Ta-ta!